Hi guys, so I'm out running errands today and getting a bit hungry. It's another day of me just being out running around. Um, after the weekend, I usually have a lot to go and do um, out, so I am getting hungry. It's about two o'clock right now. I'm at a grocery store, gonna get some groceries and I'm gonna put together a nice size salad. I'll show that to you as soon as I get in there. Um, but again, if you're out and about, you guys, really think ahead before you just stop and make an impulse decision on, on what you're going to eat. Um, because it's, it would be super easy. I passed by many McDonald's, many Burger King, many just fast food joints, and I'm choosing, I'm making the active choice to avoid those places and to go to my local grocery store. I'm gonna be there anyways. I'm not gonna pick up something unhealthy. They have an amazing salad bar um, that I'm making the choice to have. So there's a lot of healthy choices that you can make, but you just have to make that decision to pick the healthy stuff. Um, I, I'm not saying that I never go to McDonald's or Burger King. I'm never saying I, I don't, I'm not saying that I never go to places like that. But I kind of tend to save those for, you know, going on road trips or if it's a day that we're just out and you know there's just no time for anything else. But my point is that the times that I go to those places are very far and few in between. Um, I don't frequently go to those places at all. Um, I will always, you know, look for a salad with some protein um, and just make more, you know, healthier informed choices, which I recommend you do. So, alrighty, I'm heading in there. Yeah, my own chicken at home and get there. just made at the grocery store and here is you guys uh, my local Costco just started carrying this it is the best thing ever um, it is ready to season raw chicken breast but the amazing thing is it's already cut in like bite-sized pieces already it takes like no time to cook it's really really good so I'm gonna saute this on my pan with some spices Add that with my salad for a really really amazing complete meal so here's what I'm going right, to do. So first I'm gonna turn on my oven to right about there. Then I'm going to my pan, I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil in there so it doesn't stick. And then I'm gonna let that warm up for a minute. Then I'll add my, add to that my chicken pieces. I'm going to add some spices to my chicken pieces. Just some random spices I put in the spice cabinet. Uh, you can use whatever you want, whatever spice appeals to you. And just complete the three. Rocky, uh uh. I know that chicken looks good, but it's not for you, baby. It's not for you. He's eyeing my chicken on my salad here. That's for me. Yeah. Yeah, you're being all lovey. 
because you want my chicken. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, but it's not yours. <laughs> He's going to probably pace around me now. Going from every angle. Hey. Stay away from my chicken. That's my chicken. Hey, hey, hey. Go eat your food. I just put a whole bowl of food for you, Rocky. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Now this side. Nope. <laughs> Rocky. Just put a whole bowl of food for you. Yeah, he'll go away and then he'll come back. It's, it's still not for you. It's still mine. Let me lunch, you guys. Let me show you. So you saw me make my wonderful salad from the salad bar at, at my grocery store at Fry's. They have a really great salad bar. Um, so here's my salad. And I told you I was going to come home and saute some chicken pieces. Seriously, guys, if you haven't gone to Costco and gotten those ready uh, to cook chicken pieces, you really have to. I find that it just these chicken pieces cook up so fast. It's such a quick, quick, easy way to get protein, a healthy protein. Um by doing it that way so i love 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 that so let me know if you guys have it at your costco uh i just find it so convenient instead of buying like just you know chicken that's already been um you know cooked i like to cook it up fresh and if i can cook it up fresh fast even better uh so here's my my oil and vinegar i don't like a lot of salad dressing so this is going to do it for me because i'm probably going to end up splitting my salad this is a huge salad i don't know if you can see how big that is it's really big um, and then for dessert, I got this Greek toasted marshmallow, light and fit yogurt. It's 80 calories. Um, I've never had this kind before, so I will be tasting it and you guys can see my reaction. It looked good, but um, I like this light and fit Greek yogurt. Again, I'm not sponsored by anybody, guys, so I'm not trying to sell anybody on anything. I'm just showing you, you know, what I what I've been enjoying eating. So this is light and fit Greek, uh, 80 calories, toasted marshmallow. I've tasted their other flavors before too, and I've been pretty impressed. So I'm on a quest to, um, to try all their flavors. So that'll be for dessert. So nice, healthy lunch here, guys. So let's dig in it. Sit. You gonna catch it? You gonna catch it? Ready? Catch it. That's for the sad eyes he was giving me earlier. And it's Rocky approved, right? All right, one more piece. No. Okay, sit. Is it Rocky approved? Bark. <laughs> bark. <laughs> Whoa, that's a big bark. Oh my goodness! Bark! <laughs> Good boy. Okay, that's enough, Rocky. You have enough. Save some for me, okay? Good boy. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Put the rest of it in my salad before he decides to finish it off and give me sad, sad doggy eyes. <laughs> okay, so. have lunch um so again guys you know i'm out a lot uh i am a stay-at-home mom and there's many times i'm out running errands um rocky no no baby so you have a choice you have choices to make in life right now you can choose to either you know, go for something that just gives you, you know, immediate satisfaction and, you know, um, is it really the healthiest choice? So you can go for something that either um, is healthy, will be healthy for you and your body. Oh my gosh, you guys, Rocky is watching me take every bite right now. <laughs> How am I supposed to eat with him? Like, I had a choice to make today. 
you know what trust me i love me a good big mac or a you know whopper from burger king i it's not like i don't enjoy those things i really do um i love going to those kind of places every once in a while as a treat i don't make it part of my daily habit i don't let my kids get in that habit of um you know going to those places daily it's just a choice we make so um i decide to make good choices because i feel good when i make good choices i feel good my body feels good um this makes me happy right here that makes me happy uh, makes my body happy i feel healthy when i eat it and um <clears throat> so that's the choice that i made today Go get a nice healthy set. Salads are everywhere. Oh, he's back. Guys, how am I supposed to eat lunch with this guy? <laughs> mm. Rocky, go eat your food. Mm. Go eat your food, Rocky. Make good choices, make good food choices, make healthy food choices most of the time. And again, I, you know, love treats every now and then. I don't deprive myself of anything, but I limit, you know, my accessibility to it. Um, honestly, probably my, my, my biggest uh, indulgence is popcorn. <laughs> and I don't think that's really a bad thing. Um, I mean, because a lot of times I air pop it. Guess who's back? A lot of times I air pop it. Um, yeah. Oh, hi. Can I help you, sir? Hmm? What? <laughs> I do air pop my popcorn, or I will uh, pop it in like a tablespoon of avocado oil. I love popcorn. Love, love, love popcorn. Another reason why keto wasn't going to work for me because I just cannot take popcorn out of my life. Um, so. something that really makes me happy um i love it and it's not you know a bad indulgence you know i you know like myself a good piece of chocolate here and there dark chocolate of course um so you know if, if i'm out with the family it's been a while since we've gone to a fast food place i'll just account for it so if i know that maybe we're out we're we're you know out with the kids and you know we want to stop by and get something that we don't normally get i'll, I'll get myself a hamburger or some McDonald's chicken nuggets. I just won't overdo it. I won't. I won't splurge too much, and it just doesn't become part of my normal everyday life. It becomes like a treat every once in a while, which is you know how I how I look at it. So um, today I had a choice. I was out running errands. I didn't have time to stop, um, you know, and come home and eat right away. So I thought, you know what? I'll save my eating for. It's actually now about three o'clock. So uh, I'm still doing intermittent fasting which seems to work really well for me uh got my workout on this morning i drank a post-workout actually about 30 minutes before i ate my meal um and that's the meal i'm gonna have it's it's huge it's gonna fill me up it's going to be so satisfying um so the intermittent fasting definitely one meal a day i think that's an amazing amazing way to eat so if you guys are doing it keep going you guys are doing great um and i know that when you do like one meal a day or intermittent fasting um, you don't have to be so meticulous and you can kind of, you know, be a little more flexible in what you're eating. Uh, that's not a ticket for you just to go crazy and eat whatever you want, but you do have a little more flexibility. Um, and I know that. So uh, now I'm eating my first meal. It's, you know, three o'clock. I'm having a huge salad. I'm probably gonna have another lighter meal around dinner time and, you know, have, have a little sweet you know, treat or something. I've got that Lily's, I have Lily's um, dark chocolate, which I love have that with a cup of tea and I'm good. So it's all about making choices, guys. Make healthy choices for yourself. Um, fuel your body with, with good, healthy, nutritious foods. Uh, you know, have the splurgy stuff every once in a while. Just don't make that a habit. You know, we have holidays coming up. You're gonna be really tempted in so many ways. So have it, enjoy it, just don't go overboard. Hi guys, I finished my salad. It was absolutely amazing. <clears throat> now I'm going to try this. Toasted marshmallow.
Mmm. Oh, that's really good. It's actually really good. It tastes just like a dessert, you guys. Like, this is really, like, mmm. Yeah. Toasted marshmallow. Mmm. <laughs> This is really good. I really am loving these light and fit Greek yogurts, you guys. The flavors, because they make the flavors taste like dessert. So if you want something sweet uh, without all the extra calories and fat and unhealthiness, you just pick up one of these. Uh, mm. Again, not sponsored, uh, so no worries about that. Um, I'm going to go back and pick up more flavors because um, I'm pretty impressed with this one. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's actually really good. Mm. Can I satisfy my sweet, my sweet tooth? It's pretty good. He goes, if he goes, walks away. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hey, Rocky. Can I help you? You want something? <laughs> I don't think so. Chicken's all gone. All gone, buddy. Sorry. Um. Anyway, guys. So I am finishing up my dessert here. It was a great lunch. Uh, make good choices is the motto of this video. Even more important as a stay-at-home parent. Um, and working parents, of course, but I'm just saying, you know, I think that stay-at-home parents have a little more of a struggle as far as, uh, well, actually, I take that back. It's probably different kinds of struggles that we have. I know stay-at-home parents have access, you know, to the refrigerator all day and have access to, you know, be able to go anywhere at any time in the day. So, you know, I could see where that would be. Hey, get your nose out of there. Come on. Hey, hey you, can I just finish my video please? You keep interrupting me. Yeah, you keep interrupting me. <laughs> so, um, you know, I think our challenges are um, that, you know, we have access to the refrigerator. That's my problem anyway, in the cabinets and everything. So you kind of, you know, um, have access to all that, which makes it more difficult to, you know, kind of control yourself sometimes with, with having access so don't keep stuff in the house that that is you know something you're going to overindulge in on a constant basis um and i think working parents probably it is more the convenience that they can stop off you know um and on the way home or at lunchtime and maybe they don't have the best you know healthy uh, choices available and also i'm i'm pretty sure a, a really big um struggle with working parents or working people doesn't have to be parents why do i keep saying parents but for working people is all the treats that are brought into the office i'm sure um that is a huge um uh, what do you call it temptation you know i mean i don't know what i would do if i had donuts available to me in the in the office you know a few times a week or even once a week um so i just choose not to get donuts unless it gets a special occasion or i haven't had a donut in a while and i want a donut i'll go get one but it's something that's constantly brought in the office with either you know any kind of brownies or cookies or pizza or whatever that would be hard to try and be really good and stick on plans so i guess that's where that making the choices comes in you know if you're going to have a donut you know have one maybe split one um Maybe if you know that donuts are going to be brought in the office that day, pick up one of these. This will satisfy your sweet craving, you guys. Seriously, any of these. They have, like, amazing flavors. They have strawberry cheesecake. They have another, I saw one, it was, like, a vanilla toasted coconut. So maybe if you're going to have stuff that that's going to be tempting for you that you want to try and stay away from, pick up one of these or something like this or maybe like a dark chocolate or you know just make better choices that's going to satisfy the sweet tooth the sweet craving without all the bad nutritional aspects to it so all right guys i'm gonna head out i'm heading out to get the kiddos from school thank you so much for going along with me today
saying hi, make my salads. Um, I'm sure I'll have many more salad videos coming up in the future because I just love salads. So um, there is actually a salad place that I'm going to review. I'm super excited about it. I've never been there, but they're popping up all over our city. I'm not gonna tell you what the name of it is. So I will have you stay tuned for that. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll go there. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. It'll be in a future video. That's all that I know. Have an amazing day, guys. Make good choices. Thank you so much for liking, commenting, subscribing. Come on, give me more comments. Um, comments are are very, very few. So I'd love to interact with you guys, get to know you. Uh, let me know your challenges, your struggles as far as eating out and stuff. So, all right, guys, have an amazing day. And I will see you really soon. Take care. Bye. Rocky finally gave up. <laughs> Did you give up, huh? Yeah? It's like, you're not going to give me any more of your food. I'll just sit over here and, and sulk and pout, huh? <laughs> you're a good boy, Rocky. Yeah, he's going to be all sad now.